Let's go! Electromite forever! Electromite forever! Best card in the world! Bro, am I right? Is Electro the best card in the world? Best card ever made in the history of Yu Gi Oh! Last night was crazy, man. Last night was crazy. We had to represent for Electrum. It was a Pangos birthday. And yeah, everyone out there said, yo, who's this crazy guy? When I did it. But I don't care. Because we, yeah, we yelled in we yelled in restaurant. We don't care. Because we did it for Electrum. The boy, Electrum. Now, we're going to, before we start this video, uh, it was my 25th birthday last night. We went and had a great time. A whole bunch of stuff happened. I might even, I had enough footage to actually vlog. We vlogged the entire thing. So, maybe... Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to see it, let me know in the comments below. We vlogged the entire party night. Let me know if you guys want to see it. I can edit it together for you guys. It was insane. And it was just a normal day in the life of uh, the Toronto Shore. So it was a crazy night. Let us know if you want to see it in vlog form. Because we will happily transform it into a vlog form. And before we get started on today's video, which is the Pendulum Database Part 4... I want to give a shout out to every single one of you guys. Thank you all for the support. I love every single one of you. If not for all you guys, I would still be at 1,000 subscribers probably. But thanks to all the undying support from all you guys. The Trip family, we're now at 12,000. So thank you. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get 13,000. And let's continue conquering the world in honor of our boy, Electrum. Now, with that being said, let's get started in today's video. Just as I was before, we are going to go right back into the Pendulum Database. So this, these are the cards we already have right now. As you see, we got a whole bunch. In the last video, last video, I, I really enjoyed the last video because we found a broken, broken card, which is Fright for Meister. This card's insane. Fright for Meister is incredible. It's an absolutely amazing card, and I've already been working on different lists to get Fright for Meister uh, and Fuffles and Pendulums together. And Fright for Meister is that link. That will link them together and make them incredible. It is an absolutely incredible, incredible card. So let's see what we can find in today's segment. Let's see if we find a card that can match Fright for a Meister. Because this card's broken. In the first one, I, I think Madonna was a sick find. Like there's a lot of different cards we found that were decent finds, but let's see what we can find for this one. In today's version, we are we finished the first four pages. So now we're gonna be starting on page number five. The first card on page number five, Gilding Ariadne. Well, so, obviously we're playing Ariadne. There's a lot of different ways to make Ariadne useful, and counter traps are counter traps. Any card that destroys itself in the scale to be able to add a counter trap, or any card in general just a plus one, you want to play it. So Ariadne most definitely we're going to find somewhere in the future. Maybe we're going to play some cool version with bear, bear counter traps, and counter traps that are good in different formats. I think counter traps suck right now in the format. Uh, there's, you want to be able to have access to destroy every single deck and counter traps just at the moment I think traps suck so at the moment in the format so but Ariane we're going to put it in there's going to be a time where we can use utilize Ariane there, it's extremely stupid not to add it to your database next Hollow Hollow don't even read this card it's literally Gem Knight Garnet uh, next Harmonizing Magician no questions asked for throwing that in Hope Magician now this is a new XYZ Pendulum rank 4 that that's announced in the OCG, so it is a good card, but it could definitely be better. When I first read it, I thought it could be better, but regardless, it is an extra deck pendulum monster, like I told you guys, worthy of putting in the zone in the extra deck area. Next, we got all the ignites. Now, obviously, ignites by itself suck, but ignites together, it, there's too much possibility in there not to be able to play it. And with electromite going around, build a pendulum, and the ignites you, you destroy anyways, uh, it seems like a lot of pluses and. There's a few good fire warriors out there, which I'm not going to explain now, but there are some crazy ignite combos, which I'm going to be showing you guys in the near future. So, we're going to add one of each ignite for sure. Ignites, man, they are they are very good. They, they have the potential to do very, very well. Next, we got the two, the spirit pendulum stuff. So, there's a big thing here with the spirit pen, uh, the spirit one. So, they're all warriors. Uh, the spirit pendulums. They're all warriors and they have effects on their normal summon, even though they're level 5. But it, due to the fact that they're warriors, making them searchable by a soul day, and a soul day, uh, the warrior you search from it, you could put on the scale to be the pendulum summon, right? So any warriors are good. And eh, you know what? No, they suck. Uh, they suck. At the end of the day, if you want to add a warrior, you'd rather just add uh, the empowered warriors because they're warriors, you know? 
warrior. So we'd rather just add those instead. So it's going to be a no for the spirit ones. But next, another summoner's art target, but we're not getting it because it sucks. We got Ignites for that. We really want to. Draco over Electro Pendulum, Draco Overlord. Let me tell you guys something. Draco Slayers is coming back. And we're not talking about Master Beast Draco Slayer. We're talking about the OG Draco Slayers. We are talking about the Vector and Luster Pendulums. They're coming back. We're adding one of each of them. Whenever we see one, we're putting them in it. I'm going to show you guys a crazy, crazy Draco Pal list that I have going on. And sorry that my voice is raspy. Last night was crazy. Didn't get much sleep. But we still got to put out a video. Because yesterday I didn't put out a video. I was working on some other stuff for business. So I cannot go another day without posting a video for you guys. So I have to get this done for you guys. Even though I'm feeling absolute garbage right now. But I must get this video up for you guys. I absolutely have to. Like, no questions asked. Now, next, Luna Lights. Now, Luna Lights, they've seen some play back, you know, with the Zodiac thing with the Fusion Substitute and all that. But without Bravo, I don't see it getting much play. Regardless, a lot of the Luna Lights are plus ones. Pendulum Effect. Once when you can target Luna Light, you're a great special summon it. It's, a, you can summon out a free Pendulum uh, with Turbo Card. So... And when this card destroyed in the field of the grave, uh, sorry, yeah, if this card in the field is destroyed by the card effect, target Luna Light in your graveyard special summon it. It could be some use. We're going to add it in. Just in case there's some use. Luna Light Wolf. This is the fusion summon scale. So if you're going to be playing Luna Light Pendulum Monsters, uh, this is the one that you fusion summon. Luna Light Wolf is necessary because if you're going to play Luna Lights, because this is the Luna Light that fusion summons from uh, when it's in the scale. So it is definitely. Necessary to play if you're gonna play Luna Lights. If you're not gonna play Luna Lights, do not play this card, obviously. But if you're gonna have Luna Lights in your deck, you need to play Luna Light Wolf just because you're gonna have Luna Lights in there, anyways. So you just might as well. Next, we already put the Luster Pendulum in there. That's needless to say, it's the old, one of the OGs and it's always gonna be some use for Luster Pendulum. So you threw it in there and we're throwing in all Draco Pile, all Draco Slayers, Draco Overlords. We're throwing them all in because there's a crazy Draco Pile list I have. I'm gonna show you guys in the future. Next, Magical Abductor. This is a obvious no brainer. Abductor with a lot of spells is just incredible. You get any card you want. There's no reason not to play Abductor. Now we're at page six. We're going to go rush through page six quick. So I want to finish two at a time. I think one page at a time and make some videos. Uh, there's going to be too many Pendulum database videos. So we're going to try and finish two uh, pages of Dueling Book at the same time. That way it's not just one per. So we're going to go rush through this quick. Uh, this one. We're not playing it. It is a, dino a searchable dinosaur, but garbage. Uh, this card's unaffected by monster effect except pe uh, pendulums. Garbage card. Don't play it. Magic Specters. <sighs> don't get me started on Magic Specters. I love Magic Specters, man. They're incredible. And I know, I'm not talking about Kieran, but Magic Specters, I always preach this. Any card that's a plus one is a great card in my books. You must play Magic Specters in this database because they are all plus ones. They're all bound to give you plus ones. So why on earth would you not want to play Magic Specters when they're plus ones in a deck that pendulums that require plus ones? So we're gonna throw all the Magic Specters in. I'm gonna show you guys a deck in the future with a bunch of plus ones. And we're gonna take it back a few years. Uh, hint, hint, Magic Specter Metal Foes, which is unreal pluses. And it's just an incredible, incredible deck. Now, definitely not playing this Mandragon card. Uh, Mandragon, cool name, garbage card. Uh, Draco, Master Spectrum of Dragon Slayer, like I said, all Draco Pals are throwing in there. Uh, the Yosenju, don't even read that. Yosenju Pendulums, they all suck. Uh, next, all the Metal Foes. We're throwing all the Metal Foes in here. No questions asked. The Metal Foes are too powerful not to play, man. The Metal Foes are too good not to play, so you cannot just not, you cannot not play them. They're, they're all plus ones, just like the just like the Magic Spectres. They're all plus ones. So why would you not want to play any card that's not a plus one in a database of Pendulums where Pendulums require you plus ones? So why would you not want to have these at least in your database? I'm going to find some way to make Metal Foes and Magic Spectres relevant because they are some of my favorite archetypes of all time. We're going to find some way. Next, Metaphys Decoy Dragon. Now, I tried to read this, but it was utter piss. So we're not even going to read this for you guys because I already did the unfortunate bit of reading it and I wasted 30 seconds of my life. The card sucks. Next, Metronome. Exact same thing. It's just a fairy garbage, not even worth putting in. I, I had like Myrtle had this for his uh, world FTK. If you guys were kept keeping up with my world FTK list, if you guys keep up with my channel, uh, shout out in the comments if you guys do. Uh, if you guys kept up with it, uh, he played Metronome because it's a fairy, but you might as well just play Ariane, which is also a fairy. But Metronome just sucks. Don't play it. Garbage. Next, Mild Turkey. Needless to say, Garnet. Don't play it. Next, Basilisk. Obviously, we're going to need to play this. It's an option if you ever want to play it with the Mythical Beast. Mythical Beasts simply state that uh, 
they have the exact same uh, idea where you just destroy it in the scale and then you'd be the only one in the scale. If you're playing three servers anyways, why would you not want to draw an upstart goblin? If we're gonna be if we're gonna build a deck in the future that just pure turbo consistency, 40 cards, only draw card 40 cards is like 10 draw cards, why would you not want to play Bashilis as well to even up the draws to search into like the great cards you need in the deck, right? They're drawing to them. So Bashila's definitely not meant good to have. Garuda uh, is also a great card. It, you put it in the scale, destroy it, destroy a spell trap on the field. It's good to have Cerberus able to search this in this uh, situation where different floodgates that are not like anti-spell are going to be relevant in the future. Like Rivalry of Warlords like it did before. It's just good to have another way to destroy a spell or trap. Next, Mythical Beast Jackal. The small Jackal. This card sucks. Don't play it. And just like that, we finished six pages. And when we finished six pages, we exactly finished 75 cards in the database. God knew. God and the pen god were boys. We're buddies. We're cousins. We know that we both knew it was going to turn out like this. Six pages turned out into exactly 75. We filled this up perfectly. Yes, there are 10 extra deck cards, which we're going to go in the future. We go into extra deck pendulum monsters at the end of the pendulum database and different spells and traps to put in the database and different extra deck monsters, etc., etc. We're going to do it at the very end, but we're going to add extra deck monsters that benefit pendulum at the very end of our database. But for now, these are the top 75 we have in the first six pages. Hope you guys like the video. Next video, we're going to be doing part five, hopefully tomorrow, and we're going to be finishing uh, seven and eight. And we're going to see how that goes. Hope you guys like the video. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Get up. Get up.